Now I've been driving this new Fiat 500X for the past three weeks. I like it, my wife likes it, and the kids like it. The whole family agreed that the styling is fun, cute, and refreshing in this new compact crossover space. It doesn't look like anything else. It does, however, have a family resemblance to other Fiat products with the same whiskers on each side of the Fiat logo. It has the stack front lights that look aggressive, and the trapezoidal lower grille opening all comes together well. Now this Italian Fiat 500X has an American cousin. It's the Jeep Renegade that we had a chance to drive in the snow last year. But this car has a little bit more of a European feel. It's rounded and sleeker, and I think I like this one better. The Fiat 500X is available in five trim levels, from the base pop to the sport trekking that you see here. Plus there's the lounge and the trekking plus. The base model comes with front wheel drive only. All other trims can be equipped with all wheel drive as an option. All right, the base engine is the 1.4 liter turbo. The one we have here is the 2.4 liter. That's the uprated engine when you get all wheel drive. However, if you get the top two trim levels, this engine comes standard. One nice feature is the keyless entry and keyless ignition. It's standard on all but the base car and it's very handy. The trunk isn't huge on this Fiat 500X, but you gotta remember it kinda competes between the new crop of subcompact crossovers and traditional compacts. So size is subjective depending on what you're looking for. Wheels range from 16 to 18 inches and all but the base get alloys. I gotta say, I really like the interior of this product. It looks fresh, it's simple, it's easy to use. It's got the nice big Fiat Chrysler steering wheel that we're seeing in a lot of their products, and it's connected to a bunch of different screens. There's a TFT screen in the center cluster, and on all but the base, you get a five inch Uconnect screen. If you spend $1,000 more, you get navigation, and you also get a larger 6.5 connected screen. The thing is that this is the same Uconnect system we see in all of the other Fiat Chrysler products and it is fantastic. Some of the features you can get on this car, heated seats, heated steering wheel, backup camera, backup sensors, and a huge panoramic roof. It can be as luxurious as you like. Even though this is a smaller crossover, there's room for a family of four. The roof is high and the seating is comfortable. Leather seats are even available along with a power driver and passenger seat and dual climate control. As I mentioned, there were two engines available in this car and a unique all-wheel drive system that makes this Fiat 500X capable and a blast to drive. The base engine is a 1.4 liter turbo four-cylinder. It's the same engine found in the smaller Fiat 500 Abarth with 160 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. The engine is only available with a six-speed manual, which should prove to be fun in a car like this. Now, the base model of this car has the 1.4-liter turbocharged engine, a six-speed manual transmission, and that goes to the front wheels. And if you want an all-wheel drive, you get a nine-speed automatic transmission and a whole different engine that changes things up a lot. The base turbocharged engine with a six-speed manual is rated at 9.5 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 6.9 on the highway. The larger 2.4 liter with all-wheel drive is rated at 11 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 7.9 on the highway. I can confirm that I'm getting close to the posted city numbers. This Fiat 500, as I mentioned, I've had for several weeks now, and I've had so much fun driving it, mostly in the city, and it's because it comes with a large 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine. A lot of competitors in this class have smaller engines. I would personally be willing to pay the fuel penalty to drive this fun-to-drive car. It's got a lot of jam. It gets away from a light. You can put it in the sports setting. It just takes off, and it handles wonderfully. You can dance it in and out of traffic. It really does everything well, even when it's got uh, passengers on board it still feels very lively now the one thing about this Fiat 500X as I mentioned it shares a platform with the Jeep Renegade and both of these vehicles have an all-wheel drive system that sends power mostly to the front wheels when it doesn't need the traction but as soon as it feels it needs traction it shoots power to the rear wheels for the added grip that you need so that's all meant to save you fuel when you don't need the all-wheel drive system but as it stands I'm enjoying this a lot and I really don't want to give this car back.
This Fiat 500X is competitively priced starting at $21,000, but fully loaded models can get up to about $40,000 and ordering this car is a little bit confusing. Five different trim levels, different engines, front wheel drive, all wheel drive. You really need to decide what you need. And one thing is if you can keep the price down, this is a compelling package. It's a lot of fun to drive. It looks different and it's opening up a slightly different look in this space. As I mentioned, the whole family liked it. Looking for a small car? All the reviews are available on our website at drivingtelevision.com. So we, we sort of got a, you know, a kind of the evil twin thing going on here with the Chicane and Moby. So Chicane is a very uh, concept car. It's, it's a brand new vehicle, the Fiat 500X that we have. We wanted to see how far could we take it, right? So it's got a widened track, it's lowered, it's got an exhaust system, a full body kit. I mean, we've really taken that to the extreme just to see kind of what the art of the possible is with that vehicle. While the Chicane's very track focused, the, the Moby is very lifestyle focused. So, you know, it's, it's built around this theme of the kite surfer. So we've, you know, added, you know, not just some flares of graphics and some other things. It's got wheels that are available from Mopar. But it's also got functional pieces on the inside for helping to carry your gear and on the outside with the, the you know the brand new roof rack that we have. 